Now at 4.30, the crew, two astronauts, and the world will have to wait a little longer for liftoff from the Space Coast. NASA and SpaceX are now targeting early Friday morning to launch the next astronauts to the International Space Station. So officials scrubbed tomorrow's attempt because of the weather. But as News 6's Eric Von Aiken shows us, it wasn't the weather at the Cape that's throwing a wrench in the plans. The weather is supposed to be perfect like this again tomorrow morning, but that's not the only weather that matters. What also matters is the weather out in the Atlantic along the flight path of Dragon. On launch day, it's not just the clouds over the Kennedy Space Center that mission managers are watching. It's the ocean conditions from here to Europe. Uh, unlike a robotic mission where we just really need to focus on weather here at the here at the launch site for a crewed mission, we need to look downrange and, and make sure weather is good for a launch escape, a potential launch escape, and uh, for and recovery of the crew. The Dragon capsule is equipped with an in-flight abort system, so if something goes wrong with the rocket, the capsule will eject and splash down somewhere in the Atlantic. There is an entire rescue squadron on standby, Detachment 3 of the 45th Space Wing based at Patrick, but fishing out the capsule in rough seas would be difficult and dangerous, not to mention the four astronauts inside could be injured. So waiting until Friday means calmer seas under the flight path to orbit. The space shuttle's launch weather criteria did not include ocean conditions for the most part, but often shuttle scrubs were because of the shuttle itself having a problem. So far, last-minute scrubs of astronaut launches on the Dragon capsule have only been because of weather. When you wake up on launch day, how are you feeling that it's not going to be this vehicle, considering the newness and considering, a, I guess, the simpler design? As far as reliability, you know, I think uh, SpaceX has proven uh, they're pretty darn reliable with the number of launches that they've had on the uh, Falcon 9. As far as the complexity of the two vehicles, obviously the shuttle was much more complex than a, than a capsule. But the computer systems on board uh, Dragon and the automation, it's a lot more automated than the, uh, than the space shuttle was. The astronauts remain in quarantine here at the Kennedy Space Center, where they have been since this past weekend. They're getting limited contact with some family members, and they're on a modified sleep schedule. They will go to bed very early again on Thursday to wake up again very early in time for the launch Friday morning now. At KSC, Eric Von Aken getting results. News 6. Eric, thank you. Again, liftoff is set for Friday morning at 549 from the Kennedy Space Center. We will have live team coverage starting at 4 in the morning on the morning news and online at clickorlando.com.